Hi and welcome everybody to a vMix video tutorial on how to create your vMix setups faster with vMix multilayer functions. So if we jump over to vMix here inside the production we can see that we have workspace with a lot of different wallpaper pictures here as you can see with a lot of different uh, pictures inside them and if we move over to pictures here we have a bunch of vmix icons so let's begin with minimizing this picture and grab all of these icons and pictures into vmix and just wait for a while as it's adding more stuff in here these are just random pictures i've grabbed for an example to use and now we have a whole bunch of different penguins and other cool pictures gun I, just examples now if you go over to workspace and i pull up my i've got the stream deck and i click this key and boom suddenly there is a lot of different pictures or actually all of these various pictures ended up inside these wallpaper background pictures and if we click on one of these let's go with this one this cogwheel and we go to layers multi view here we have the some inputs have been added into the layer function of this input so basically you can put a input in front of a different input and then you can layer it more on top of each other so basically this is how i moved these pictures into this picture the hotkey to do this if you go to settings and you click settings and you wait and you click on shortcuts and let's click find and i'm gonna click on this one and i click ok and as you can see that i have set layer that's the hotkey you're looking for all of these that is in a little bit of a dark gray highlighted they are all on the same elgato stream deck hotkey so when i click that key i'm executing a, a huge amount of various hotkeys so if we click on this set layer the function you're looking for can be found in input scroll all the way down from input set layer then you choose the input that you want to set the layer in and then the first value is one of the one to ten layers that each input has and then the number here is the input so this is number input 242 of 300 max that you can have inside vmix and then you basically click ok so when you click that specific hotkey you're going to grab the input 242 oh it's not on this one so if i add more pictures and let's move a, a duplicated bunch of pictures again into this production we wait for a second while it's adding and thinking so now we have a 242 right about here it's this input so if i go back to workspace and i i look at all of these pictures again and i click this key and boom suddenly all of those pictures appeared inside the multi-layer function in here so here you can see one to ten all of the layers and here you can see the input so we added input 242 into this layer input this means that you can have a really automated creational setup where you basically just move things into your vmix production right here in this folder that i've called pictures you can see it right there and you can have anything in here you can have pictures you can have audio you can have videos and you click one key on your legato stream deck or your keyboard and all of those pictures will instantly connect to various wallpapers and then you just move around to various wallpapers with your preview click so you click here you move to you merge to your next input and etc but here comes the sudden problem they don't look that good for example that preview window doesn't look that good we're basically having a huge picture in front of our face and if you look at this picture in the preview it also looks really clunky but over here in this folder here don't use these that is basically empty when i'm sitting after that click i'm just looking around so that looks doesn't that one doesn't look so hot that wasn't look so hot there's a lot of these that doesn't look that hot this one doesn't look that hot and eventually you're gonna move all of the ones that you don't want to use into this folder and you're basically not going to use them today in your production but i have this one now if you want to for some reason talk about the now i have moved all kinds of various strange things like penguins and guns and vmix icons into this you just make an example so but if you're making a, a gun video up here above me you can basically talk about whatever form that you're talking about and that let me show you this 
doesn't look that bad. So in your creation, you're going to get a lot of various inputs that are going to be useless, but some of these are going to be quite functional. And if I just sit here and remove everything, all of the inputs that we've added one by one, da, 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 they are a bunch. Like it usually takes a little bit out of removing them, which I normally don't do. I usually just don't save and I just close the program. If you go to everything and you look at this input, this is input 199. That means we have a lot of different wallpapers inside this production. Also working progress are wallpapers that I haven't connected to specific layers yet. So among all of the different wallpapers that I have, you and among of the, all of the random different positions that I'm putting into these layers and positionings, I'm gonna have a bunch of maybe 20 to 30 different wallpapers that I can use. The other 200 ones or so can't be used. Then I have this yellow folder, which is wallpapers edit. So here I have a wallpaper that is very boardy blank. Here a white wallpaper, and here I have some other. Now, if we go to workspace, you can notice that these are named virtual. Here, this is virtual, virtual, virtual. All of them have virtual in front of their name. So these are the originals, and that is really important because if I click here and click general, click virtual, I have now created an additional virtual that is 200. We don't want that one, we remove it. But if I change, look at this one this wallpaper, and here I have the two virtual ones. So if I go up here and I change, and let's just grab, uh, go back a second, I have a neutral wallpapers, neutral, let's click this mountain and click OK, OK, and boom. Instead, I suddenly have this mountain background, but I also changed the two virtuals as well. So here I have another folder of anatomy parts. Let's just highlight all of them. You just pull them all into the vMix production instantly. They're just moving in there. Let's click away from this one and give it, give it some sex. So we reached two to seven in inputs. And if we go to wallpapers here, they're all blank. And let's just click this key and boom, all of those pictures suddenly appear inside my wallpapers. And look, this one looks, doesn't look so bad. We have some pictures of anatomy. And we have this one, also doesn't look that bad. And we have some other anatomy parts over here. Another, some good anatomy parts over here. Some, um, they are a little bit over the place. So let's say I want to use that wallpaper picture. I want to talk about the anatomy of the leg. Now, I would prefer if it looked like this background. So let's go back to wallpapers. And I, this is the original one. Let's click the cogwheel. Let's click general. Let's go to color. Let's choose the color of white. OK and OK. And boom, it is white. And if we go over to workplace, suddenly this virtual wallpaper is also white. Let me show you something different. Ta-da! We suddenly have text inside the wallpapers as well. So the only thing that you need to do to basically set up your production creation is that you change wallpapers into the specific topic that you're going to basically talk about, depending on what you are talking about. If it's game, anatomy, client, I don't know what it is they're going to talk about. Then basically find the pictures about the subject that you're going to talk about, drop them inside vMix, click one hotkey, and boom, they all end up inside your wallpapers. And then you can just jump inside the wallpaper, click record, and just move from wallpaper to wallpaper, just if I would to be doing it like this. Talk about this picture, then click on a hotkey, and I suddenly talk about this picture, and click another hotkey, and I talk about this picture. In other words, if I'm gonna make a video, I get an ID, I click a few keys, and then suddenly I start talking, the construction is ultra fast, and you still get a really nice setup. I don't think this kind of system is for everyone. It depends a little bit about who you are and how you like to construct and what kind of production you're actually into and what form of videos that you're doing. But I like it. The creation of this video was basically really fast. I hope you got inspired in some form of way. And in any case, if you still have any questions, leave those in the comments below and I will try and answer your questions. Until then, take care guys and I'll see you in the next video.